Now, more than 5,000 communities, mostly in the northern part of the country, have been declared open defecation free. That's according to the Ministry of Water and Sanitation, who, together with participants developing partners, embarked on a targeted campaign to stop the practice. The ministry has been explaining a plan which it hopes to achieve Ghana's targets of an open defecation free status nationwide by 2020. According to UNICEF's latest reports, one out of five Ghanaians defecate openly. A problem reported in 2016 would take 500 years to fix. But it seems change is fast occurring, at least in the regions up north. However, recognizing that Ghana is largely off track in meeting its sanitation goals with only 21% of the population using improved sanitation facilities, Deputy Water and Sanitation Minister Yawama explains plans to reach the nationwide goal. Scaling up the basic sanitation information system nationwide to provide regular monitoring data across the country. Nana Chairman, we applaud the measures like the district sanitation league tables, which have generated immense success in the regions where they have been implemented. And would like to announce that a national league table system will be rolled out soon for such districts and constituencies. These efforts have been largely compensated with support from development partners. For accelerated progress, development partner UNICEF is happy about the progress so far. Here is Chief of Water, Sanitation and Hygiene, Ramesh Bushal. We have to create an enabling environment where uh, households are encouraged uh, to uh, uh, invest in sanitation. And one of the uh, enabling environment is also telling the community and society that, hey, defecating in open is not an acceptable behavior. It is an offense to our culture. It is an offense to our uh, national pride. And we should not do that. And if somebody is found uh, doing that, it's punishable uh, offense. Nadole Kalio is one of the success stories. DC for the area, Katrin Teiri Lankunu, talks of plans to sustain the status. With the involvement of the assembly members who are permanent residents of the communities and the chiefs, because we continuously um, tell them, we continuously whip up their interests, we continuously compare the communities that are doing well with those that are lagging behind. So I think that the edge is there to do it and to sustain it. The other areas which have attained open defecation free status include Tatale and Dambai. As they celebrate these successes, the country and development partners are still mindful that an estimated 22% of the population still openly defecate. Essie Nyamicha Thompson for Joy News.